Hello, everybody. God bless. God bless. Um, this is uh, July 1st, 2021. <laughs> I just did a recent video and I said 2020. Uh, July 1st, 2021. And God want me to share my hell visions that he gave me. He gave me to me, gave it to me uh, a whole week of, of, of sending me to hell and showing me things that are that are that are going on because people are going around saying that hell is not real, that you can uh, uh, you can still be a homosexual and go to heaven, which is not true. As y'all know my testimony, I'm an ex-homosexual, ex-crackhead, an ex-cigarette smoker, an ex-sinner. Saved by grace. Saved by grace. And I still uh, 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 fighting in this in this race to fight. I fight and I and I and I and I and I I I I I I I, I, I fear the Lord. I fear God. You know, because I want to make it. I want to make it. None of us have arrived. We're in the, God said the race is not given to the swift, but those who endure to the end. And I pray that the, those who are watching this, who are running with God, that you endure to the end because we are at the end. We're at the end. God is getting ready to call his church home. But let me share this vision um, of hell. It was one day. It was one God gave me a vision, a dream. But it was, it was, it was, whatever God give you, it, it, it feels real. In this place, I saw it was darkness, but it was like many scenes. It was, I was going to different scenes. And one scene I saw where a man, he was driving here on earth. He had, he was not saved he was he died in his sins and he died in a car accident crashing so in this scene that i saw that um this man he kept the way he died it's the way he kept repeating over and over and over that same crash but here's the thing as he kept repeating that he kept feeling that same fear. I mean, the fear was intense and enhanced. And then you would think like, oh, it's just something to repeat. He ain't dying. You have no idea of repeating this. The tor it's, it's a torment that you will, I can't even explain. And, but the fear, this man fear, and I, I was watching it. And he would tell me he was coming around the corner and I see him do like this. He bam. And then, and then, and then it'll, 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 it'll start all over. And I see him in here, and he, but you kept seeing, <gasps> he, you know, oh, like scaring it, bam. But it, this was going to happen for eternity. He was going to repeat the same scene over and over, that fear of crashing over and over again. Then another scene. There was a friend of mine who was homosexual transgender and when I got saved and delivered I went to my brother and you know and, and tell you know to preach the gospel to him to share my testimony with him to so he can come to Christ and and so he could be saved and and um but as I went to him he got angry at me he cussed me out he said some things and I and I and I told him I love you and I forgive you and I, and I you know I tried to reach him so I asked God, Lord, where did he repent even on his deathbed, Lord? Where is he, Lord? Now, I told y'all about another friend that I seen who was transgender, who was Puerto Rican. But this is another friend who was a black uh, African-American uh, friend of mine who was trans. He was transgender. And he on here on earth, he wore a lot of makeup. He liked to wear a lot of makeup and he was dark skinned. And there in the scene, I seen a man come come up, walk towards me. And he had, there was uh, like 
makeup, like, but it was it was rubbed all over his face. And um, as I got close to him, I realized who it was. It was my friend. I was like, oh, his, they, his name was T. And I said, T, I said, it's you. And he was like, yeah. You know, he's letting me know that he's there in, in hell. He didn't make it. And I instantly, God allowed me to feel the grief that God feel about those who go to hell. I felt a sadness. And I... And I felt uh, uh, just really, really sad that he didn't make it. And and then I heard him say, yeah, he said, I have to go. He had to go back to where he was in his torment, whatever it was. I didn't see what his torment was. So another scene changed. I was in this place. I was in this. It was a place in hell. It was darkness but I was able to see God had opened up my eyes enhanced my eyes where I was able to see and there was a uh I don't know if you guys know the uh uh empire tall building I think they got some building that's sky high that can reach to the clouds these tall buildings in this scene there was a person on 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 the, on the edge of the building, there was a person hanging on a stick, holding on, so they won't fall. Because it was that person knew that if they fell, they were gonna fall way down there, and it was gonna be so painful to to feel that fall. Because you know your brains was gonna split the pain, the, the the thought of that pain, and that person was holding on. To the, it was like a long stick, a long thin stick, and they were holding on with their life, trying not to to fall. And what the Lord allowed for me, I became that person, because I was able to feel that person fear. I felt the the horrifying fear of not falling, because and 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 it 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 blew me away. That I became the person so I can feel this person. And I was actually in this person, looking through this person's eyes. And I was feeling every bit of this person's fear. And mind you, I'm afraid of heights myself. And this person was afraid of height. And they were holding on. And I tell you, it was a fear that I can't even explain. But at the same time, as this person was fear trying not to... To fall, trying to hold on to a thin little stick so it didn't fall. And also, uh, there was a man who appeared holding the stick. While the person was sitting on the stick, there appeared a man holding on to the stick. And in his eyes, his eyes were so big. And they were so, they, I mean, they were huge. And they looked like <clears throat> you know how people get bags under their eyes for not sleeping for days, but it was like his whole eyes was like that, and they were big, and they were dried out, and they were full of fear. You could see in his face, he was full of fear, because, and he looked at me like, help me, because he kept falling. He kept falling and feeling that fear of falling. And he was, and, 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 oh my God, it was, it was crazy. But then he looked at me with these fear, like, please help me because I keep falling and I want this to stop. And it seemed like it never ends. He was going to be keep falling like that for eternity. But he kept like, ah, oh, feeling that fear of falling. But his eyes were so tired was so tired of constantly falling from that huge building into darkness, way down into darkness. And then that person was, and then that person was still trying to hold on, but uh, uh, it, 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 it just, it blew, but it, it blew me away looking at this man that he was, his eyes were so tired because he was like, I'm tired. 
I keep falling and I'm scared, the same fear. And he was like, help me, help me. And I couldn't help him. I could not help him. And then he fell. And then he came back and he repeated the same thing. But that this person was holding on. And then I came, God brought me up, up, up out of it. Now let me share this one dream God gave me. God gave me a dream of what homosexuality looks like to him and why he considered it abomination. In his dream, it's going to blow away not just homosexuality, but perversion sins, uh, fornication, uh, adultery, uh, pornography, all that, what it looks like to God. So God gave me this dream. In this dream, I was walking. On, in, I was walking on the street and all of a sudden I came across uh, y'all remember the VCRs back in the days in the 80s and some of the 90s I think but in the 80s the VCR and remember the VH uh, the VH cassettes that you put inside the, the VCR but as I was walking I ran across this uh, 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 this VCR tape and I was compelled I picked it up and there was a VCR that appeared in front of me. So I put the the, the uh, VCR tape in the VCR. And this movie, this it's like a, a movie appeared, like a TV appeared. And what I saw inside the TV when I put that VCR uh, uh, tape in, there were demons that looked like transsexuals. There were demons that would look like uh, had the uh, face of a demon and a body of a woman. And they were m uh, m male demons. And they were like, like again, they were transsexual demons, but they, but they had faces of demons and had bodies of human. One, you know, like a transsexual with the, with the uh, body of a, of a woman, but with a penis. But, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, I have to be, um, honest with this. I can't hold back because God needs you guys to know what of this homosexuality perversion, what it looked like to him. And in that, in that as I was watching that on a TV, inside a TV, they were having sex in some kind of liquid. What the liquid was, pus, defecation, um, a sewer, uh, uh, sickness, disease, but it was it was it was fluids mixed uh, with every kind of abomination, anything that you can consider the most nastiest thing here on earth: trash, uh, defecation, pus that comes from your body, um, uh, sewer, uh, 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 cor dead corpses, uh, 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 just. This foul, and they were having sex in it. The the the, the trans sexual demon, the 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 woman demon, the male demon. They were all just uh 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 uh, uh rolling and 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 having sex and and doing all kind of things. And, and as I was watching it, I knew it looked so nasty, so disgusting because I knew what they were that liquid stuff that they were having sex in and they were looking at me like 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 join them like it, it and it was like oh my god oh come to think I'm I'm trying not to throw up it was just so it was a, a, a abomination and I woke up I woke up from that dream and I said Lord and he said son this is what homosexuality looked like to me this is what fornication looked like to me. This is what por porn uh, looks like to me. This is what uh, fornication, uh, uh, adultery, anything that's sexual perversion. He said, this is what it looks like to me. And he said, this is why I consider it an abomination to him. It is defiled. It was, it's a preacher. It's the, the most disgusting things. The how, what I saw, they were rolling in. And God told me, he said, this is what it, you know, uh, abomination. But that what people need to know when 
people interact in homosexuality. That's what it looks like to God. And God, we serve a holy God, a pure God. And that's why God wants us to be delivered. That's why he said, come to me so he can deliver us out of homosexuality, out of fornication, out of adultery, out of uh, 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 pornography, all kind of sexual sin. God wants to, because it's defiled. And there's a place in hell for you, me, if we were to die into that and go to hell. There's a place in hell. There's a place in hell. But here it, here's the thing. Wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. You have a chance now. You have a chance now to surrender now because also the king is coming. The king is coming. We're living in the last days. Come to God where he may be found. Come to God where he may be found. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sin. Run to the altar while you have time. Time as we know it is running out. Our redemption draws nigh. Repent now while you got breath in your body before it's too late. Repent. Nobody told you they love you today. I love you and I love you enough to tell the truth, to tell you the truth. Because I'd rather, I'd rather you be angry at me than God to be angry and me to be disobedient to God. So I pray that this touch someone in, in here and give somebody confirmation. Surrender to God. Surrender to God where he may be found. God bless you. Shalom.